Okay, here is a video for Nun Nun in particular, but not only Nun Nun. And there's going to be another video or two coming up in similar topic matter. But I wrote this particular one page document on 42 Threes Day. 42 Threes Day. Common features of cults. Reason that I was thinking to write this document was I'd made an, this sticky note. I don't know how visible this is. I have to check. How visible is that? Barely. It was going right at the very topics you were mentioning. None, none. About how it could be taken a whole bunch of ways. Like I was thinking nucleic and mitochondrial early on human any cell any type of cell or if you look at another way management and workers the management on the inside circle and the workers on the outside circle and you could even flip the you can flip the letters there a eh? uh, w for for m and see how that works out too um that's a little quick humor, quick humor. Insider linguist, what, what are common features of cults? First point, insider linguistic patterns or languages. And it, don't, it doesn't have to be original. It doesn't have to be original. It only needs to be insider understanding of how to read the linguistic patterns or the languages. Means that hand gestures and everything, that all matters too. Because secret battle language is using hand gestures. That's that's why it's a good reason to read Dune. Read Dune. It talks frankly about the use of such things. But it, to me it makes perfect sense and has for a long time. I asked a friend of mine a little while ago. Can you please tell me or show me what you think the sign language is for werewolf? And he made, a, he made a hand gesture at me, which I, I frankly was shocked at. In my circles, or in the circles that I sometimes watch to take cues from, that would mean something entirely different. Not that at all. Bad choice. Not, not the right language. It was a key, key moment of understanding this person. Because his choice for the sign language was incorrect. I'm not saying that that's true for anybody else. Only true for this particular person. Found it odd. Uh, second point, one that you and I have already talked about, I think, is has a semi-permeable outer boundary. The interior is likewise, I say here, divided, but I mean, I mean to say it's sequestered. And it has a choice of two different strategies. One is the highly ordered strategy. I have that linked in the video here already one is the highly ordered strategy dogma two is the highly heuristic strategy which is katma which is the competing and fissioning subgroups and i've explicitly put a brackets like a set of brackets around the second point around the katma part because it appears to me the catma, the catmatic type will be able to survive indefinitely. I've even put back in 42 threes that I even put a, a brackets around this with a questionable statement that I, it came to me to say right then and there. Pure, quote unquote, pure Islam versus Wahhabism. Is that possible? I mean to say the highly heuristic version of Islam is which of the two? Wahhabism is highly dogmatic, I think. Pure Islam, whatever the fuck that means, is morally more, more likely highly heuristic in the sense that there's many interpretations with a centralized understanding of how to practice it. I am not an, I'm not a Muslim. Third point, 
in the case of the first type, the dogmatic type, hierarchical with a series of interior rings or levels, I wrote down at that time pyramidical, but it's not only that. It, I've since come to think of it more like a ziggurat, since it could be an, an overlaying set of rings that are getting increasingly smaller and smaller. And to impose the square shape of a pyramid upon it is highly suspect. It shows limited thinking. In the case of number two, the case of the second type, I think loose federations of households which first form boundaries and then in, in parentheses, tribe or family, and then sometimes compete for members or property. But competition tends to shift a two to a one. Maybe. Too, too heavy competition or competition which is bloodthirsty. This is why I'm getting into discussions like in the in the previous stream with Hilljack over what causes the uh, how do you understand the property value if it's bought in bullets and blood and so like bullets swords and blood then it's one type of property versus another type of property which is arrived at because of some kind of mutual understanding and agreement not to you know, exert force past the end of someone's nose. But yeah, I, I would tend to think that the highly heuristic from time to time through the effects of competition are shifted towards the highly ordered, the dogmatic types. And if the right dogmatic types are on the inside circle. So one, two, three, four, fifth point. Whereas two, the second type, the catmatic, can survive indefinitely, one cannot. One cannot survive indefinitely. Sometimes, and I've made a careful note of this particular note, in order to survive, a one can become like a two. A dogmatic form can appear catmat catmatic. It'll appear less dogmatic than normal in hiding. But, and it'll use some other culture to do so. Probably a culture which was once inside. Examples for models. That's at the end of those five points. Uh, two of them, two main examples. And I've got over in the margin I added to just this morning. The brand. Example, examples for models that might be useful at this moment in time to discuss this kind of thing and avoid a lot of friggin' useless arguments. A. Westeros in Game of Thrones terms. Seven kingdoms with an iron throne in the center plus the court which surrounds it. Terms courting mean, mean more about what you're doing close to the center of actual power. The seven kingdoms hold each other in check. That's that's not quite a highly ordered dogmatic pattern, although it follows a lot of those types of rules. It's more highly heuristic, the time we are viewing it now, and is being brought to order. B Catholicism. And I had a big I had a blow up a little what was it, a few streams ago, or not a blow up, but started going after Joe Rogan when him and uh, Brett Weinstein were talking about this very issue, what, whether or not Catholicism is a cult. Catholicism. There's the church slash the laity slash the priests slash the bishops. And then by the priests and asterisks, priests have sub ranks, deacons and priests and canons and archdeacons and any number of other classifications. And then so do bishops and other asterisks. You can have cardinals or archbishops. In my particular brand of like Catholic thought, there are, there are archbishops. And then the next thing you'll find higher than that is a thing called a primate. Like primate, P-R-I-M-A-T-E. 
And then the very next thing in the list is the queen or the monarch. Queen of the UK. And I'm going to draw your attention right back to the beginning here of that little short list of four that I started with. The church, the laity, the priests, and the bishops. The lay members. It's, it, it's possible to be a member of the church, a parishioner, and not a lay minister. Someone who has some nominal control over the parishioners, but is not a priest nor a bishop or any other kind of class of either two. So there's a, a subdivision of education occurring at this level in the church, outside of this level, called the laity. I did a little numbers back on 42 Threes Day. Did a little numbers research. You can double check my figures. You can dispute if you wish. Anyone else wants to. Number of Catholics worldwide, 1 billion. Nice round number. First thing, first data point. Number of priests, 400,000. Second data point. Number of bishops. I believe it's about 5,133. Give or take a few, they die quite frequently. Number three, number of cardinals, 180, and out of that 180, only 120 are eligible to vote. You have to be under age 80 to be able to vote as a cardinal. I ran the numbers, those three numbers against what the total number is, one billion. Hey, parts in a billion. What's the parts in a billion for each of those? It's a fucking easy little calculation. 0 0.0004 for the priests. Or 0.04% if you'd rather. For the, for the bishops, 0 0.0128 or 1.28% 1 are bishops. How does that work? How does that work? <laughs> Zero two three three eight is the cardinals. That's how you arrive at the wrong kind of numbers, I suppose. One percent of the bishops, huh? <laughs> I mean to say, those numbers are how do you get up the next rank? If you're a priest, of the total number of priests, what are the what percent are bishops kind of thing? Of the total number of bishops, what percent are cardinals? 2% of the bishops are cardinals, or more or less, like the fractional representation. How do you advance up the rank? 2% of the cardinals, yeah, it's not Catholics worldwide, but of the priest class. Tell me it isn't a fucking... Uh, then ask yourself, where is the poverty in the priest class? Is it in the lack of amount of priests to actually go around to service or educate or lead the flocks of a billion people with only 400,000 priests? Uh, there's a lot of lay members. Uh, two other points come out of the, come out of the mixture because I've got a whole bunch of other things to talk about and it's going to be another video. First one, highly theatrical, the cult uh, characteristics, common, common characteristics of cults, especially if they're going to be long lived. They're highly theatrical. They are highly theatrical. And that's why I know for a goddamn positive sure, trolling is older than the internet. They are metaphorical. They are public. <clears throat> they are public, yet they are cryptic. Am I part of a cult? Not anymore. <laughs> I don't. I don't follow anyone else's teachings. Do you call that a cult? <laughs> Participation is done and accomplished by customs, or if you want to call it by something else, by rituals, even, and. Social contracts and taboos are a counter sign of or a counter side of the same thing. 
Customs and social contracts go together. Rituals and taboos go together. And participation in any of these is a demonstration of kind. I cannot overstress this. You have to participate in these things to, to show your demonstration of kind, in kind. These are beautiful, beautiful concepts, which, which I have been lucky, like lucky to come across during the period of my time on the earth. As I say, I've got a whole bunch of other ones to go along with the yellow sticky note. So without further ado, thank you very much. Comment below.